I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, first review on the channel from this brewery, The Vale Brewing Company. Uh, they are in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, this is I Don't Ever Want to Be You. And I'm not gonna lie, this can art is a little creepy. It's like this emo kid that's crying and there's like this creepy old man like with his arms around him. I don't, hmm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck is going on here. It's kind of pedophile, pedophil what is that word? Pedophile-ish? No, pedophilia something, I don't know. I typically say not that there's anything wrong with that, but there is a lot of things wrong with that. So not really sure <laughs> what's up with the artwork on this. Um, this is a 9.3% alcohol by volume. It says double IPA, but I mean, we're getting into the triple IPA range with this. Um, it's zero IBUs, and I'm not really familiar with the science of brewing beer because I don't brew beer. I just drink it and talk about it. Um, I do believe this is all kettle hop. There's no dry hopping involved, which I think is how you get a zero IBU beer. Not 100% sure on that. Um, I think this is... 100%, well, not 100%, it's Citra and Mosaic. Um, and I feel like a total asshole right now. Um, there is a guy who contacted me on Instagram and said, hey, I've noticed you've not reviewed any Vail uh, beers. Um, do you want to review some? And I was like, I would love to. And he sent beers and his account is deleted now and I fucking, for the life of me, cannot remember his name. So, um, a secret Vail person. If you're out there watching this, just leave a comment so I can thank you. I mean, I'm thanking you here, but I don't. I, I feel like a fucking asshole for that, but it happens, I guess. I, I don't know. It really bums me out, but um, this was, I think, it's hard to read this. I think this was canned on the 29th of um, November, so this is what, two weeks old? Um, the Vale is, I mean, I don't, I hate saying that they're a hyped brewery, but um, people are loving their beers, and the brewers from the Vale, I, I know one of them has like a killer resume brewed at um, Alchemist. I think he was over in Belgium for a while. Bunch of cool stuff. So this is only the second Vale beer I ever had. Nathan sent me a can of Dirt Nap a while back. I think it was an older can, and I ended up sharing it with some friends, so I didn't get to review it. So first uh, review of this brewery. Stoked. I know my buddy Scott uh, loves the Vale beers, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. So yeah, um, this is actually, I mean, there's, there might be a little bit of chill haze on it. It's not completely like crazy juice balmy. Uh, this looks like a West Coast style beer uh, in the glass. It's that deeper, almost amber color. And I think, I mean, we're almost nine and a half percent. You kind of have to up the malt, right? To get to that alcohol level. So it's that deeper kind of dark gold amber color. Um, there's some killer carbonation. There's some floaties in there. It's not completely clear, but you can kind of see my finger through that. So definitely not like the crazy juice bombs like we've been reviewing lately. Um, I don't know, half a finger of its bright white head, there's already glass lacing. And I'm guessing at 9.3%, there's gonna be some alcohol like streaking down that, and there is. So it looks killer on the glass. This reminds me of something like um, Exponential Hoppiness. Looks sort of like that. So interested to see what this, I mean, nine, you guys know, I don't drink a whole lot of 9.5% beers anymore. I, I mean, I'll review them. I just, it's not a beer that I'll drink all the time. It gets to just be boozy and sweet and crazy. So, um, interested to see what this one's all about. So, let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Yeah, so this smells, I mean, the, the aroma is definitely malt forward. It's bready, it's sweet. But there's, it's citrus. I mean, it's oranges, it's tangerine, there's some grapefruit in there. I will say if there's mosaic in here, I'm not getting a whole lot of, um, like that blueberry note that I typically get from mosaic. Um, it's very earthy is a good word. Um, smells almost dirty, which probably sounds bad, but it's not a bad thing. Um, it's resinous. There's some dank kind of grassy, like herbal uh, notes to it. But yeah, think like orange peel, grapefruit peel. And then, yeah, it's just like grassy, earthy, kind of herbaceous. Almost, I don't get this a whole lot, but sometimes when I drink Pliny, when it's not like super, super fresh, you almost get like that kind of, 
Nathan and I were talking about it, almost like that green, tea, not green tea, but like that tea kind of note. And that's sort of in this. So yeah, I'm interested to see what this uh, tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, I mean, it's so nine, almost nine and a half percent. You'd expect some sweetness. There's some sweetness there, but um, it is sweet citrus, sweet oranges, sweet tangerines. But it's, yeah, it's not bitter at all, which is crazy. <laughs> That's really, really weird because you're tasting kind of like that grapefruit um, and you're waiting for it to kind of bite at your tongue and it doesn't. That's pretty, pretty weird. I'm not used to experiencing anything like this before. I mean, it almost makes it, it, it's like sweet kind of juice. It's weird because you're tasting orange flavors, grapefruit flavors, tangerine flavors, and you're waiting for it to just kind of bite at your tongue with that bitterness that you get, that pithy kind of rind thing, and it doesn't do it. Um, it is on the sweeter side. There is a, like a big malty presence in this. Um, definitely like a malt driven beer. But again, nine and a half percent. This it does. It kind of reminds me of like the later or the late, later latest, the most recent batches of like exponential hoppiness I've had, or like kind of like a Beechwood beer sort of, but without the bitterness. It's kind of a mind fuck. <laughs> I will say, it tastes sweet, but it's not boozy sweet. Um, nine and a half percent. You're not tasting, or nine point three percent. You're not tasting any alcohol, which is insane. Um, I don't know if this 1129 it doesn't seem like crazy explosive on the flavor what are, what are we at second week of December this isn't that old if it was really canned on the 29th of November I don't know if that's really the the date it's not exploding which it should be I think if it's only like two and a half weeks old in the can so it's kind of weird this is a weird beer for me it's definitely good um And it's, like I said, it's got like that sweet kind of thing, but it's not like that syrupy kind of gross cloying sweet thing that you can sometimes get with really high alcohol beers. Excuse me. It's just not something that's like blowing me away, which isn't a bad thing. I've been drinking some ridiculously good hoppy beers lately. I'm trying to think of what to grade this. This beer is weird because you're getting all those citrus notes, but there's no bitterness. I think I like bitterness in beer. The zero IBU stuff is, it's really messing with my mind. I don't know how to grade this. Um, as this warms more in my hand, it's getting a, a touch more sweet and there's like a little bit of booze that's coming out. Hmm. I think this for me is like 88, 89, not quite to like the A range. Um, but really interesting, a really, really interesting beer. Um, I've got some other Vale Bre uh, Brewing beers that he sent, so I'm stoked to check them out. But I, it, maybe it's an ABV thing, maybe it's a no bitterness thing. I don't know. It, this is a really weird beer. But yeah, um, that's I Don't Ever Want to Be You. I think they just did a collaboration with Trillium, too. Not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go like 80, 88 on this one. Uh, B. Plus. Um, it's tasty, it's just. It's really strange. The, the no bitterness thing is kind of throwing me off. Um, and it's a, it's a touch on the sweet side. So um, I guess for me, once you get into the 9% range, there's like a certain beer that I really, really like. And if it's not like to that, it's just not incredible to me. But this is a well-made beer. It's really, really good. So yeah, if you guys have had it, excuse me, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.